Security Threats and Attack Vectors Carl Sagan once said, We live in a society exquisitely dependent on science and technology, in which hardly anyone knows anything about science and technology. And that is such a true statement today. We have so much technology coming out uh, that's being consumed by consumers or being pushed out to the consumers, they have no idea how they operate. They just know that, hey, it works, and yet they don't know what vulnerabilities. And in some cases, as IT guys, we don't know what vulnerabilities actually are created because of these cool features. Now, because of that, we want to make sure that you truly understand what it is you face. And when we talk about this, we're going to go through in this module and take a look at security threats. What would be considered a security threat? What creates a path or a way into your environment? What type of technology creates that force? We'll also take a look at attack vectors. So we want to make sure that you understand what you face. And when we talk about that, we really want to focus in on three specific areas. One being the security threats that are coming your way. Different types of threats that can be created, whether they're from a uh, a human being or from a system. There are different types of threats that are created. Some of them are non-intentional. We'll also take a look at attack vectors, or in other words, different ways or paths that attackers might try to come into your environment. And then we'll take a look at IPv6. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because it's becoming more and more prevalent today. As uh, companies and, and folks are making the transition over to IPv6, it's really cool because it does a lot of things automatically for us. But unfortunately, automatic usually means issues. So let's start with the security threats, or as I like to call it, what well, could possibly be a threat on my network? I know, that's what you were thinking, right? Well, we'll go through and make sure you understand that there are several different items that can create threats in your environment. One of them would be hosts. Another would be possibly natural threats. We'll also take a look at physical threats that get created, as well as application threats. To me, this is one of the big issues that we have. Applications, either they're in-house applications or pre-purchased applications. And then we'll take a look at the threats that humans create for us, or as I like to call it, stupid is as stupid does. And then, of course, we'll take a look at network threats. So. Let's focus in on the first one, 